Welcome to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and today we're talking about mechanical keyboards. If you grew up using a typewriter, you no doubt miss hearing those clickety-clackety keys as you typed. And mechanical keyboards are a way to get that same feeling and functionality back into your life. So today we're looking at not one, but two keyboards from Drop that are some of the finest, some of the sleekest mechanical keyboards out there right now. They have a massively diverse selection of keyboards on the Drop website that showcase all sorts of looks and feels. But the two that I'm looking at today is the Midnight Classic, which is the one at the bottom right now in this white box, and one of their new Lord of the Rings keyboards, which is in this Middle Earth design box right here. Both of these products were sent to me by the company for the purposes of review, but I'm under no obligation to give them positive reviews. That said, I did give them a whirl before I actually got them here in my hands at a recent event that I attended, and they felt pretty good out of the gate. So I've got some high expectations for this dynamic duo of keyboards. So let's see if these items get a passing grade or if none shall pass, and let's get this review underway. If you didn't get that joke, you need to go watch Lord of the Rings right now. So just hit pause and go do that, then come back to this review. And let's kick off this video now by doing a good old fashioned unboxing. And this is the Midnight Classic keyboard right now. And uh, you can see it is in a very much no frills kind of packaging here. This is just literally a white box. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna be that crazy. Let's go ahead and pop it open right now though and see what's on the inside here. And okay, yeah, this is, they're keeping it super simple, which you know what, is fine, let's see. So over here we have a small thin box with some additional items. Let's go ahead and open that up right now and see what's in here, shall we? So this would explain why the packaging is maybe a little more no frills than expected. Uh, that's because unfortunately due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I guess they're now using some different types of boxes. So that's unfortunate, but they are including this nice gift code, which is, uh, I'm gonna censor right now, which is a $25 off coupon for your next purchase. So that's really nice of them to include in there, despite the fact that, you know, the packaging to me isn't like super important, but uh, it's cool of them to include that. Also included in the box is our USB cable. So it's got a good piece of rubber too. This is not a this is not like one of your flimsy cables or anything like that. This feels pretty heavy duty to me. It's not a proper coil, let's say. Uh, it's not like one of those real flexible kind, but this feels like it's gonna be the kind of thing that you're gonna be using a lot and it's not gonna break on you, which is awesome. Uh, let's just see how long this actually is too. I feel like this is gonna be uh, probably a three foot long cord, but let's just unravel this and find out how long it is. Yeah, this is a three foot long cord, I would say. Uh, pretty good amount of length here. So yeah, nice, good looking cord. I'm actually pretty into this. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that they're not cheaping out in the cords. That's good to know. We also get this included in here. This is gonna be something we'll talk about a lot later on in this video here, but this is gonna be pretty critical to how you're gonna be swapping out your keyboard buttons later on. So we'll come back to these items, but they are both included with this Midnight Classic here. So let's get this out of the way and continue our unboxing. And down below, we have our hotkeys button. This is just a one, yeah, this is a simple one sheeter here. So on this side here that came as we got it right opened up out of the box, this has all of your hotkey information, uh, things to change the LED pattern, and some other important button functionality to know. And if we flip it over, over here we get how to start up and use this keyboard. So this is all the information which we're gonna be now trying out. It also has the warranty information too, but we'll get to all this because we're gonna turn this thing on in a few minutes. Now let's get to the unboxing proper because this is our keyboard and this is how it's packaged. Oh, okay, this is, so, you know, if anybody was complaining about this like white cardboard box, it's very plain box, because yeah, that's the end of what's in that box. This is how your keyboard is in fact gonna be packaged, I guess. Uh, and this is awesome. This is like a nice pouch, uh, which feels pretty sturdy, all things considered. I mean, this is a good pouch. Wow, okay, I'm actually super impressed by the pouch. I, I know I should care more about what's inside it, but I just, I'm really digging this. This is kind of unconventional, I feel like. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh, yeah, okay, your keyboard's gonna definitely be secure in that. You heard like how secure this Velcro is. That's a lot of Velcro too. That's gonna definitely keep this thing down nice and tight. Uh, but let's go ahead and slide her out, shall we? Let's get our Midnight Classic out. Ooh, I can tell you guys already, it's got a real good weight to it. This is a heavy duty keyboard. And yeah, good solid construction here. Look at this thick boy, wow. I can feel like this has got some real good weight to it. This is not gonna move if you put it down somewhere, but boom, speaking of, let's put it down. Now let's get a closer look at this Midnight Classic keyboard. So again, this is one of the more basic keyboards that they have from Drop. Uh, it's just basically a dark, 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 very dark black shade. That's all this is, just a nice solid black, but good solid metal body here. Nothing more fancy than what you're seeing here. On the sides is where the LED lights are gonna come into play, but that'll be shown off in a few minutes from now once we actually connect it to our computer. But let's just do that very important test right now. Everybody, silence on set and listen up.
Oh yeah, that's the sound you want to hear. That's the clickety-clack of a good mechanical keyboard. This has got some good noise going on here. I'm really into how this sounds. Like, good response time also. I love the bounce back, the resistance you're getting when you press down these buttons here, how they spring right back up to you. That sound is just perfect. I mean, terrible for your neighbors, but great for you if you're into this kind of sound, if you're into that keyboard ASMR. Yeah, no, this is gonna be real fun, okay. So this is our Midnight Classic keyboard here, but let's move on to our second keyboard that we're doing this video and take a closer look at that. And let's also do unboxing that one too, why not? Because this one really deserves a proper unboxing. So this is gonna be our Lord of the Rings keyboard now. I'm really enjoying how this is being packaged here. Like this is a haul on presentation now. So we got ourselves a map of Middle Earth and let's, wow, look at that. This is, this is cool. This is some real fun presentation right here. <laughs> on the back, you've got the Lord Enterprises. That's just some branding here, but yeah, this is nice. I'm, I'm liking this already. Let's just slide this out now. Let's take a closer look at what's gonna be underneath this. So this might be how they normally do package their keyboards in the style of box. So if that's the case, again, very nice, very elegant too, I would say here. You know, they're keeping it pretty simplistic, pretty minimal, but I like what they're doing. I like that the logo is on this side over here with kind of the shinier style of lettering. And uh, likewise too, you can see that same logo right on this side here. No, that's not why we're here. We're here to actually open this thing up. So let's go ahead now and let's do the grand reveal of what this Dwarvish keyboard is gonna look like. All right, so sneak preview already. So again, we're gonna get that same piece of paper that we saw before with all the hotkey information and the quick startup guide. And yeah, I'm guessing this is gonna be how you would normally have gotten this if you were given the package the way it normally is. And what's up here on top is just a nice layer of protective foam in case any extra weight came down on your keyboard while it was in transit. This is gonna protect all your buttons. You can even see the imprint of some of the buttons on there already. But this is gonna be an extra layer of safety, an extra guarantee, if you will, to protect your keyboard. And it's good to know that it's definitely working off the bat because you can see how it is. But let's move this paper. Let's start talking about this keyboard because this is, oh man, my, my nerdiness is just on over 9,000 right now. Let's pop her out and take a closer look at her. This is it. This is the Lord of the Rings Dwarvish style keyboard. And oh, this is so much fun. I love that it has the dwarvish alphabet, the dwarven alphabet, if you will, across all the buttons. Look at the escape button. It's a little sleeping dragon up there. That is so cool. All these great symbols. This is so nerdy. And I have to tell you too, it's what's interesting about this piece is that the keyboards, uh, is that the keyboard buttons are actually a slightly different material than what we just saw with the Midnight Classic keyboard. And you can hear it too when I start actually clicking and clacking these buttons. Listen to the difference in the sound. The interesting thing about the buttons is that they're a little bit more coarse. They always feel more rock-like. And so they're making a very different sound when you press down on them. It's a very thunderous, rocky element, and I'm really into that. I like that attention to the detail. I'm hoping that, that was what they're going for, because if they're not, it just happened to work out that way. But it's some very cool attention to detail. And likewise, besides the fact that you're getting this alphabet here, you're also getting, like I mentioned, the dragon over here. You've got the ring down here. You've got a crown over here. And what's also kind of cool is this section over here. And I wanna highlight this section in particular because it's not just a design that's like printed onto this, this is actually a raised section. You could feel it with your fingers. This is actually a raised up area, raised up design, uh, and it's a lot of fun to touch this. I have to tell you guys, it's a lot of fun. I mean, besides pressing the buttons, which is really cool, uh, this part down here feels so nice to touch. Like, you're talking about tactile sensations. This is just like a little bonus right here. I'm really digging that, and I like the design too. If we flip over the keyboard, we're gonna see the drop logo alongside the Lord of the Rings logo. And we also have our legs as well, which you can just pop up like this. And we'll put her back on the way that she's meant to be. And there we go. So now a little bit of an extra elevation to the keyboard. But really words don't do justice how nerdy all these buttons are. And the fact that they have a different type of click to them as well, a different kind of material, it just really adds to the very unique fantasy elements of this keyboard that they're really tying into this thing. It's Middle Earth brought to your fingers for use on a digital platform. Now I want to move this over to the side real quick because there's actually some other stuff in the box to talk about too. So we come back to this guy, we're gonna remove this layer here because there's still some stuff underneath it that I wanted to talk about. And this is what again continues to make it the special Lord of the Rings set here. So we have a few additional keys here. We have some different colored arrow keys you can see on this side here. We've got our USB cable over here, which uh, We've already seen a USB cable. I don't feel like I need to go back into it again. Uh, and over here, all well, this part already fell out. We have a space bar. We have some other cool buttons here. Uh, and this is again, what we're gonna be using to swap out those keys in a little while. So all that is included along with these bonus buttons. How fun is that to have these extra cool bonus buttons thrown in there? 
So here's our keyboard side by side. I do want to do a little bit of a comparison now since we have them both together here. And as far as size goes, the Dwarvish keyboard is a little bit smaller. We'll see if I can actually get them right on top of each other here, at least close enough, but squeaky, squeaky boy. Uh, so just for the sake of comparing sizes though, you can see that the Dwarvish one is just ever so slightly smaller, but it's very, very minimal uh, in terms of, you know, there's like a little bit of extra space on the side. And likewise, I think it's gonna be probably, yeah. This one, the Midnight Classic is also a little bit bigger as well, but it's like the slightest difference. So it's barely noticeable and really it's not gonna affect what you're doing at all in my opinion. But that said, there are a few other key differences that are worth pointing out. And that's gonna be also related to the size here. So there is a pretty huge weight difference between the two of them here. This Midnight Classic, she is a hefty, hefty lad. I mean, you guys can see it's a very thick looking keyboard here. If we turn over the Lord of the Rings one, you'll notice it's, you know, basically about half the width of it too. It's a pretty considerable amount of difference here. And that really shows because the weight is just so exponentially different between the two of them. Now, they're, they're both very solid, very sturdy keyboards, but the Midnight Classic, this is real heavy. Like, you know, this is not the kind of thing you're gonna wanna drop because you will break a foot if you did. Now, I'm not saying one is, let's say, flimsier than the other, but they are just different weights. But again, both very solidly constructed. So, you know, that's not really much of a worry. It's just something for you to be more aware of. And likewise, too, because this is also a much thicker keyboard, uh, it's probably a little hard to tell in this video here, but if I turn these guys to the side, you'll definitely see it again, how one is gonna be raised off the ground more than the other, and that's without even putting on the feet. Now, the Midnight Classic here does not even have any additional feet to raise it up with. Our Lord of the Rings one does, but because this one is already so big, there's no additional feet here. So, yeah, if you want your Midnight Classic raised up, you're gonna have to get something else to put underneath it. But yeah, this one's already pretty high up off the ground, so I don't think it's gonna be anything you need to really worry yourself about. And another thing too to point out is also just again, going back to functionality here. So our Lord of the Rings keyboard has one USB port, which you can see over here on this side, but our Midnight Classic has two USB ports. Now you don't need both to get it to work, but they're just there for ease of use. So depending on where your computer is stationed, it might be easier to put it in the left port than the right port or vice versa. So it's just kind of giving you some customizing choices here, some choices that are gonna really be kind of decided upon based on what your setup is, what your desk setup is like. Is there one that I would prefer over the other? I mean, not necessarily. I mean, you know, there are a bunch of different styles of keyboards that you're gonna get with Drop, but to be quite fair, they're all pretty darn good looking and they're all definitely built to last. But these are differences that I think do matter to a lot of people. So just making sure that this is on your radar. So just making sure that this information is on your radar. These two keyboards share a few similarities, but also have some key differences that set them apart in quality and function. Both keyboards have 87 keys and have an anodized aluminum case, although the Midnight Classic is a higher grade of aluminum. They're both powered by USB-C connections, with the Dwarvish keyboard having just one and the Midnight Classic featuring two. But an important reminder, you only need one of those ports to power your keyboard. The reason the Midnight Classic and many others in their brand have the two is more so to help you keep your clutter from your desk down to a minimum. And this way, if you have your cables on one side or the other, that's so you can basically keep them all in one spot. The Dwarvish keyboard uses Holy Panda X switches with Drop Phantom stabilizers, while the Midnight Classic, much like its case, uses a more premium version of the Holy Panda switches with Everglide stabilizers as well. Both have a great bit of heft to them, but as mentioned earlier, the Midnight Classic is the heavier of the pair because of that aluminum. Both feel very sturdy and likely they won't budge even with the most aggressive typist pounding away at the keys. I love the responsiveness, the resistance, and the bounce of the keys that both had to offer. And I feel like I was kind of spoiled by those Midnight Classic keys because both are very good, but that Midnight Classic is still just one step above that Dwarvish version. Either way, the sounds they make are amazing. So let's take a pause for a minute and just have a listen to those keys clicking away. When it comes to colors, the Dwarvish keyboard only has the white backlighting, which is subtle and looks quite nice. It's bright without being blinding and a very nice choice. The Midnight Classic has the RGB backlighting, which is really stunning. I'm always a sucker for this style of lighting, so I'm of course biased to like it more. I do wish you could change colors like other keyboards offer, so do keep that in mind when you purchase either one of these. What you see is what you get in terms of the colors and the lighting. Both of these keyboards included a keycap puller, but the Midnight Classic also included a switch puller, since the keyboard features hot, softable switch sockets. Using both of these pullers is honestly a lot of fun and very easy to use. 
I tried it out with the Lord of the Rings keyboard because extra buttons were included with that to make it even more Middle Earthy. So I did some swapping on camera to show you how it works and really it was a blast and it also felt very safe to pull those keys out with this thing. The final result is awesome looking and this is how I left my keyboard after I was done swapping out some of those buttons. It's worth noting that you can go on their website and buy just the keycaps for all the Lord of the Rings keyboards if you just want those and not a brand new mechanical keyboard. They come in the version you saw me use, which is the training version, but they also have a hardcore version without any English letters on it. There's a few different ways you can get these depending on what part of your keyboard you want to customize, whether that's all the buttons or the number pad or something else. So no matter how you want to customize it, browse their website if you want some more details, and that goes for not just the Dorvish version, but the Elvish keyboard as well. Now, if you're really feeling extra, you can complete the look of your Lord of the Rings keyboard by getting their Artisan One Ring keycap. At $55, you get a hand-painted one ring in three colors that you can use on your keyboard that will make it look absolutely stunning. And if that's not enough for you, because of course it's not, why don't you go ahead and check out their Smog Wrist Rest, which you can buy from Drop as well to truly express your fandom while also preventing carpal tunnel. Overall, I am very impressed with both of these keyboards, and it's a prime example of the old saying, you get what you pay for. These are beautiful keyboards with great weight, wonderful responsiveness, bright LEDs, superior functionality, and some of the best tactile experiences you will have using a keyboard. If you're a connoisseur of mechanical keyboards, Drop is a brand you need to check out. They have a wide variety of designs and looks that range in price, and I would say that they are worth the money if you're ready to spend. If you're at a point in your life where you want to upgrade your keyboard and get something that's going to last you a long time and give you much more of an experience than just typing on things, Drop is the way to go. If you want to pick up either of these Drop keyboards or any of their variations, check out drop.com to order directly from the company or please use our Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If you buy anything using our Amazon affiliate links, it helps support this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. I'm Matthew, this has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you here next time with more reviews and everything else we do here on the channel.